Mm. I hate calculus. Totally miss me. Welcome back to ET Live. Jason Card hanging out in the ET Live man cave. Yes. We've dubbed this the man cave with Michael Evans Bailing, plays Jordan Barker. Uh, Baker, Baker on the go. hit show All American on the CW. Welcome to ET Live, man. Glad to have you here. Glad to be here. Thank you so much. Your story is I'm a little envious one. Okay. And it's a little mind blowing because Midwest boy yeah. on the West Coast, yeah. athlete in Indiana. Now you're here barely a year yes. in LA. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so you much. Made it. Thank you, you made so it. much. Thank you so much. On a hit TV show, it's the feeling. I, I, I can't describe it, man. It's indescribable. You know, it's, it's very, very grateful. I feel very, very lucky to be in the situation that I'm in. Um, and, you know, I'm just going to keep chugging away and, and plugging away and doing the best that I can do. Well, you're doing the best you can do. I mean, this show's a hit. Everyone loves it. Such a great story, intersectional storytelling. Mm -hmm. Your character, Jordan, mm -hmm. uh, is one of the breakouts of the show. You are the son of mm -hmm. Tate Diggs' character, yes. who is the coach. Yes. And you're uh, getting into some drama this season. Getting into some drama, you're, man. You're, you're, you're hanging out with rival cheerleaders. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Drug tests, competition. Tell us about uh, the character and the story and what we're going to see this season. On the you show. know, the thing with Jordan, the nicest thing about with Jordan is, um, you know, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a confused kid. You know, he is this, um, this kid living in two different worlds, if you will. He's got a foot in both worlds, uh, being, you know, the, the, the mixed kid, black and white. Sure. And that's kind of what he's struggling with the most, is this sense of identity and connecting with his dad, who is full black. So Got when it. Spencer comes to town, obviously there's some animosity because Jordan can't connect the same way that Spencer can connect with his dad. Right. With them being from the same place, you know, them being the same complexion, if you will. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, Jordan, he's this angsty, uh, this angsty young uh, high school teen. You know, he's obviously, you know, he's hot-headed at times. And um, he does find himself in some trouble with um, this Malibu cheerleader, like, like you said. Um, right. On the beach, you know, they, they, they did, they did smoke a little bit of weed and whatnot and uh, get themselves into a bit of a mix-up. But then you have dad who comes in. But dad saves comes the day. in, saves the day. As dad should. As dad, Even as it's dad a little should. questionable. It is a little questionable. Yeah, no. A lot of people have been saying, why would he save uh, Jordan? But he's going to kick Asher off the team. You know, it's, it's two different things. I don't know. I mean, I think it's because it's his blood. Yeah. Now, uh, Michael, this story is um, autobiographical. Yeah. Spencer Pacinger, it's yeah. about his life. Uh, how true to the story of Spencer are we going to see in this in, in this season? Um, I mean, I know sometimes you, you run out of content, you run out right. of story to tell. Where are we with that? Um, I think, obviously, you got to over-dramatize a little bit for TV. Um, but a lot of the stuff that we have shot, you know, he's gone through. Um, episode 3, for instance, where we, me and Spencer get pulled over um, for driving, you know, while being black in the wrong neighborhood. That happened to him on his way home from a track practice. Yeah. So, you know, to be able to, you know, talk to him and, um, cause he's on set all the time, he's a consulting producer, to be able to talk to him and um, kind of hear his story and be able to, you know, internalize it all and be able to put it out there on the screen, it really helps us out. Sure. And um, he, it's wild to hear the types of, thing, types of things that he's been through. Yeah. Um, but I think that we're doing a decent job portraying it. I would concur, you talk about being on set just talk about that. You're working with Tay Diggs. I'm working with Tay uh, Diggs. You know, man. he is an industry veteran. I'm working with we love a good Tay Diggs moment. Tay Diggs, Tay, baby. Tay Diggs in the house. <laughs> <laughs> um, what advice has he given you? And what's, set, what's, what's like being on set with Tay? He's like a dad. You know, he, he is my dad on the show, of course, but no. He, um, he, he's like a best friend. He's like the best friend, and he's also like your dad. He gives us advice, you know, for, for, with girls, with women, uh, with, with what to do with current situations and whatnot and then he, you know he gives us acting advice as well especially which is great for me sure. you know being this newcomer um he's taken me kind of under his wing and like pulled me aside for scenes and like listen do this change the way you're doing this which is just absolutely fantastic uh you know you and you, like i said earlier your story is so is so unique you you were an athlete back in Indiana. You have done, you did some modeling. Mm -hmm. um, this is your first acting role. And you said that people kind of didn't support that, that they told you, hey, acting is not going to work out for you. Yeah. Uh, you were wrong. <laughs> but, I mean, talk about that. I mean, because just yeah. the journey for you. How, you said earlier that it feels amazing. But tell us about a time where you felt like this wasn't going to happen for you. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it goes back to that, you know, whenever I was going into high school. Um, going, into, going into high school as a freshman in high school, I had just loved uh, this, this thought of acting and entertainment after seeing The Dark Knight. And I remember getting to high school and my teachers were like, that's not a real thing. Some of my peers were like, okay, that's cool that you think that that's a real thing, but it's not. Because in, in Indiana, it's, it's just, it's not. You, know, right. you, you go to college, you get your degree, you have a job, and then you retire and whatnot. But I wanted to be different and I wanted to kind of explore this passion that I had and I'm glad that I rediscovered it in college. 
Um, then I made the decision to leave college, of course. Um, but um, <clears throat> once I got out here, it was just, um, there, it was overwhelming at times. Um, granted, it was only my 11th audition, you know, getting Jordan, but it was still... Listen, uh, uh, one audition, 11 auditions, no's, or no, a no hurts. We know yeah. rejection sucks. It does, so, yeah, mean, that's the thing. Is it's always, it's, it's disheartening to right. get into an audition, think you did your, your best, and then not get a call. Yeah. Or, like, no, they, did, they didn't get you, sorry. <laughs> right, or not hear anything at all. Yes. That's, uh, the ghosting The ghosting is the worst, the worst, the worst right? The worst. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're here now, man. Uh, loving your life in L.A. Let's yeah. talk about what you do for fun. Uh, the girls. <laughs> or, or I would imagine they're a little different out here in Los they Angeles. Are, they are, are you having fun? Are you dating? Um, I am dating. Um, I'm dating somebody. It's, we're kind of like in a, just a, we're in the early stages right now. Okay. It's, it's just low key. The, right the fans now. want to know. They want they want to know everything about. I know. Me. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to put her on the spot. So I'm going to keep that on the DL for right now. Um, but yeah, I am. I am dating. And uh, but what I do for fun, honestly, I'm a kind of a boring person, man. Um, Daniel. Come, listen, listen, listen. Daniel, come, Daniel comes over on the weekends. Daniel Ezra. Daniel Ezra, okay. yeah, he plays Spencer. And we watch a lot of Netflix cartoons. We play Madden, and we, we, that's all we do. We order a whole bunch of Uber Eats. That is our Friday through Sunday. So what are you eating? Because you have to obviously stay in great shape to play yeah. uh, Jordan. I mean, we've seen the abs. We know you're, you, you got down on point. It's hashtag. What, what's a Saturday meal? In-N-Out burger, a little, you know, a little pad thai? I've never had In-N-Out. Get out! I I know. No I should I should honestly just get, get I'm, out. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm, I just every single time I go, like the lines are so long. I'm like I don't really care. Like waiting, so I'm just not gonna have it. Fat burger, McDonald's. Okay. It's not really good food that we eat on the weekends. Daniel's vegan, <laughs> oh. so he gets like uh, uh, vegan chicken and waffles or whatever. But that um, exists. Apparently, it does. I don't know. It it tastes pretty good. I'm not gonna knock uh, on it. Mm. No, but you know, but uh, body by Scott is what keeps us in shape. Okay, got, got a trainer, it. Got it. A trainer, yes, sir. Your social media blowing up, man. Are people sliding into the DMs? They are. I try to stay out of the DMs, man. I try to stay out of the DMs. It's it's trouble in the DMs. It's trouble in the DMs. There's trouble in the DMs, but there also can be good things in the DMs. There's a lot of nice people in the DMs who are, you know, reaching out for you know just positivity or you know reaching out just because they love the show so much. And it's always nice to kind of read those messages. Right. And. Um, you know, hit him back and say, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. But um, I, I would agree. Yeah. yeah. I uh, trolled your your uh, social media. OK. Because that's what I do. That's what they pay me to do here is troll uh, Michael's social media. That's what I was paid to do today. Sure. And this donut obsession. Donut obsession. Yeah. So I, I had to. Uh, you, it's probably, you probably have a donut here. Yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. But I mean, it's a running joke on on set. I mean, yeah. there's many an Insta story with you eating donuts, and you also yeah. have it in your highlight yeah. uh, reel on your Instagram. So, nice. of course, I had to, on behalf of everyone ET Live, bring you your own set of donuts here on oh. set. Yes, this is Madison Brodsky. Oh, thank and they're you shaped so much. like footballs. footballs. Right. Heck so yeah, here dude. we have the, the the no abs anymore donut. Oh my god. Which is drizzled in Oreos and peanut butter. You're welcome. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> you want to take a bite of it right now? Absolutely, dude. Oh, my Do Lanta. It. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, Heaven. Bro. Whoa, whoa, bro. Where'd you get this? From Voodoo Donut. Thank you, Voodoo oh, no. Donut. And then also, I think this one's Jelly Filled. Don't do it. Don't do Jelly No. Don't, don't do, do Jelly? Mm -mm. And these are just regular glazed, chocolate glazed. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So uh, put that yeah. on your Insta story. I will. Because these are specially made for you, Michael. And again, mm-hmm. Man, all the best, dude. Great show. All American on the CW. Wednesday nights, Michael Evans Bailing. Man, all the best.